All right, everybody, welcome back to Spec Ops The Line. So where are we at? <clears throat> Should have cleared my throat before I started recording. Uh, I'm recording a little bit late today again, so hopefully there won't be background noise from, you know, the dog or anyone else. You get infinite run on that part. That's interesting. I'd say that's the gate. That sure looks like a gate. Well, little surprising he didn't hear that, but okay. Alright, Lugo. Who are we up against? An army? Give or take? No shit. How are we getting through this? This might help. Set it up. You're fucking kidding, right? That's white phosphorus. Yeah, I know what it is. That's what they were shooting at the you know we can't have a choice, people There's earlier. Always a choice. No, it's really not. Once again, there's Walker being the voice of the, like the developer. It's like you don't have a choice not to do this, to not commit a war crime. Because that's how the game is programmed. Like, the only way you can not is to turn off the game, which is like not really a thing. So here, there's all this stuff. Get a hit. Oh, that's how we do it. So it is legal to use white phosphorus in war, but it's only to destroy like destroy not people. You can only use it on like equipment and stuff to destroy it because it's really convenient for that. Burn stuff quite well. So uh first time I played this, I was like, yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Because uh, you see uh, Walker's reflection in the screen there. Uh, you do take damage during this segment if you don't get all the guys fast enough. Go. So then I saw this. I'm like, oh man, look at all of them. Oh, I'm going to get so many. Hit. There. Yeah, look how many I got. There's tons of them. No one's moving. It's over. He's right, Walker. Okay. We're done. Boy, are we ever. Let's get down there. Want to reach that gate before reinforcements arrive. I can't sprint anymore. This is this may as well be a walkie talk moment. There we go. So same mechanic sort of applies that if you there's a burn person and I grab you, you take damage. Think. Isn't war stuff cool? Uh, many other games have done this kind of a moment of showing war being really horrible, like the uh, Call of Duty. World at War had the had you getting nuked, called uh, Modern Warfare Four or something like that. I can't remember them all. Anyway, here's the moment everyone quotes or points out as being the moment. It's not for me, but uh, 
just realizing what had happened. Why? You brought this on yourself. Yeah. Really? We were helping. What? Oh no. Are those civilians? Where'd they come from? There's no camp here. They took them from the nest. That hotel back at the Stormwall? No, 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 those can't be the civvies that got kidnapped. It's not possible. Yeah, it is. That's why Gould stormed this place. He didn't want the gate. He was trying to rescue his people. This is your fault, God damn it! Stop right there, Lugo! But it is! He would have at least have a choice! He turned us into fucking cowards! And now he's going to no! No! Show yourself! No! We need to keep moving. What? Voice of the developer. Reinforcements will be here any second. We need to keep moving. But Walker, you're not, you're not even... I'm gonna make these bastards pay for what they've done. Now, are you with me or not? What did they do? It was, it was us that did this. Anyway, I did point out and was like, oh yeah, I got so many of them, I was so happy. And then this happened, I was like, oh, oh no. They did the thing to me. They juxtaposed your fun gameplay with, uh, and I say quote unquote fun gameplay with a horrible thing. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, we deserve that. Why did you go out there? Yeah, that was really not a smart idea for any, either of us. So, you just, uh, I've been leaving the load screens in and not editing them out because they have interesting art on them, like that. Maybe I'll go to this side, maybe this side's better. Gotta reload the saw, it takes a long time. Sorry. It's the first time I've actually sh like shot and hit and got that line. And bullets? Ammo. Hey, okay. That I want. Keep pushing. Come here. Can I yeah. I guess you should have stayed home. Who's shooting at us? On the move! Don't load up! You're on your own, yellow map? He's wide open! They're falling back! Don't let up! They're headed inside! Stay on them! No yeah. more cool war stuff. Oh, 
strike. Give me bullets. Also, uh, I should point out, if it hasn't been clear, that the little callouts you do, like they're coming to get us, the enemy down, all that kind of stuff, that changes as the, t the game goes on. You notice that Walker is being like more aggressive with his callouts. Cover, not to heal him, but that's fine, whatever. I've died like two or three times per part, so this is to be expected, I guess. one close by. Let's use the AK a bit. Hmm. Actually missed these guys. We wouldn't have had that line earlier in the game. Okay, now I need to use the M4. Everybody. Hostile dead. It's over, Walker. They're dead. Good. Yeah, they sure Stop are. Around. Might be something here that'll clue us into what's going on. Maps, supplies, ammo. Looks like a normal outpost to me. No. It's gotta be more upstairs. There's got to be. There's that Check your mags. phrase again. We'll find up here. Can't be Nothing good about what happened up there, Lugo. But our hand was forced. I know by who. No, oh, no more ammo, no more weapons. We just got UMPs, I don't really want those. Yeah. That's fine, I guess. I'll shoot more dudes with the M4. Now get ready. Get ready for a cutscene. That's the end of chapter. I'll play one more because that's only been like 15 minutes of gameplay. What the Including hell? deaths. Phosphorus. I swear, if I never see this shit again, it'll be too soon. Look at this. Tags. Whose? Conrad's command team. I knew these men. Listen. No better than I did. I promise you that. He knows we're here. Colonel, I'm Captain Walker. Uh, Captain Walker. Yes, I remember you. Kabul, I think it was. You performed admirably under the circumstances. Colonel, please. I don't know if I told you that. 
What's going on here? Survival, Captain. Plain and simple. Everything is teetering on the edge of everything. But this you already know. The rest you'll have to see for yourself. Welcome to Dubai, gentlemen. Yeah, this was a brief going on, Walker? chapter. We wrong. Radio man ain't running Dubai. He's just a lackey. You mean? It's Conrad. He did it. All of it. Okay. So what do we do? We play along. For now. Obey. That's a good... I thought you said you knew him. Objective. Oh, That's a bold statement. You claim you knew me. When I served under him in Kabul, he was an honorable man. So, um, I believe I don't the, any the captain's, or not the captain, but the uh, corporal, uh, colonel's voice is Bruce Boxleitner. I think they picked voice roles that were, like, we got snipers. famous for, like, heroic roles and whatnot. What the fuck is this? But the radio man is picked for having, like, playing, like, crazy, weird roles. Uh, I don't know. They, they, I feel like they picked the voice cast very specifically. This is a test. Walker is Nolan North, of course, who plays, um, everybody. Plays, um... Uh, he's usually heroes. I don't know. Get it. We're meant to choose. Choose what? Let's get out of here. Lugo's right. We need to get as far away from this as possible. That's enough. Obviously not, because we're still here. They are guilty. But what is justice? And how would you see it done? This is an order, Captain. Who lives? Who dies? Judge these men. Or pay the price of insubordination. We can't do this, Walker. Yeah, let's just get out of here. And go where? They have us surrounded. So who do I pick? Left, right, or neither? About time. Kill the prisoner. I will not be disobeyed. Jesus! Need some assistance, Walker! Get your ass over there and help him! Oh, great. Shit. Uh, 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 shit. Down! Okay, now you get themselves up. Gotcha. Let's get moving. Walker, what's going on here? I'm showing Conrad that he doesn't know anything about me. Another scoped weapon. I'll take it. Where's that RPG guy? Is that him? Right there? Oh, there we go. Oh, I see him. I see him, and I was too late. I guess that's what the uh, little cutaway was trying to show me. There we go, this should be much easier now. Tango down! 
But you notice you get a little, like, slow down, and you get a headshot. I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed, there we go. Striker. I don't have an RPG so I can't actually shoot that. I think I can have... No. Looks like ammo for the FAMAS. So they they paint this as being a choice that you could have avoided this fight by uh, picking one instead of uh, one of the prisoners instead of moving. But it actually does not. Oh no! Oh no! Where'd you come from? I guess they were on the dune. Lame. Uh, they paint it as a choice, but you have to fight this part anyway. Regardless. I'm burst firing just to save ammo, basically. Ah. Uh. Again. I guess guys up on this little ridge got me last time. So like I said, they do have shamans and goggles. up but there was a checkpoint here so it's okay I hope oh, there's some good loading screen tips that start to happen with this part too maybe I should I make the 
muzzle, muzzle flashes are really crazy. This one. Oh, mistakes. Mistakes. Big mistakes. Was close, I almost got again, so it's like small. Oh, shit. Shotgun floor, by the way, that's really close quarter stuff. I know you're listening, Colonel, so hear this. This war is over. Dubai will be evacuated, and you will be relieved of your command. So that should be end of chapter. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, cool. So, somehow that radio works in that huge dust storm, but whatever. Anyway, thank you for watching Spec Ops The Line, where the turning point watershed type moment has happened. The one everyone talks about. So, we'll see what happens after this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.